Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. And in this video, I'm going to share the rest of my vacation. A couple of skincare items that I have been using and what my thoughts are on them. And maybe a few other things. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Oh my gosh, you know, it has, I don't know about where you guys are, but it has been hot, 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 and humid. And in New England, especially in New Hampshire, we don't have a whole lot of humidity often, but we, 4th of July weekend was a total rain out. I mean, we had some torrential rain and then we had some humidity, it was just Unbelievable. Well, anyways, the beauty about being able to, you know, have um, wigs at my disposal when my when the humidity destroys my hair and I can't do anything with it, I just throw a wig on. So I haven't worn a wig in months, and um, I'm like, wow, you know, I forgot how much I really liked having a ton of hair compared to my own hair. But anyways. So Jay and I went away and uh, we went to Booth Bay Harbor and I think you saw some of the vacation number, the first part of the vlog and all that. We had a great time. I'm going to superimpose some photos here and at one point I'll add a couple of video clips uh, for you, but we had a great time. The weather was not the best. We ended up having lots of clouds, and lots of rain, but I have been on probably... I don't know, since the beginning of the year, I've been trying to really lose weight. I've been trying to get my activity level up, walk more. So I was bound and determined on vacation, on, and I shouldn't even call it vacation, it was just holiday weekend away, um, because I did do a little bits of work while I was there. But while we were away, I was bound and determined that I was gonna try to get into a walking routine, and I was not gonna let anything stop me from walking around the campground. <laughs> so here's a picture of me. Yeah, I, I walked even with my umbrella. I I walked uh, just about every single day. So that was really cool. I don't have a um, I don't have a scale in the motorhome, although we are thinking of putting a scale in the motorhome, especially if we go on longer trips, which is what our goal is. And so I didn't really couldn't monitor my weight and all that stuff. So when I came home of course the humidity hit right and I don't know about you but I swell up like crazy so I said mm, I'm gonna get on the scale it was up a pound from before I had my surgery and I was kind of bummed about that but I also know that after I had my surgery I was retaining retaining a real lot of water I had a lumpectomy and I, I was just holding a lot of water and they pumped me full of fluids during the operation so I kept thinking, all right, you know, this is going to level off. I'm still up a pound from pre-surgery, but I'm thinking that's not um, really a pound because I'm just so, my rings, everything feels tighter. I think it's just the fluid that I'm retaining. So anyways, I did, I walked every day. Jay and I, we did, we went to some of our tried and true places. We had dinner the first night. I think I already shared that with you guys, but this just really cute little restaurant in downtown on the other side of Booth Bay Harbor on the harbor. We'd never eaten at this restaurant before and we both really enjoyed our meal. Then we we went on, we were exploring, we went up to our tried and true places. We always go over to Wiscasset, not I'm sorry, to Wiscasset, to Damascata, the next town up. And then we normally go up to Pemaquit Lighthouse, which we did. We did that whole, you know, the whole nine yards on that. Um, and I think I might have shared that, but I'll put some photos in as I'm talking. Well, Pemaquit Lighthouse is just really pretty. And even though the ocean and everything was fogged in, it's still super, super dramatic. Beautiful views, you know, just looking at the ocean is just, it, it's my happy place. It really is my happy place. But every single day for the long weekend, we had rain. We had rain, we had clouds, we had rain and more rain and more rain. And the day that we arrived, we went and bought ourselves boat tickets for our for the fireworks cruise. We went to go out on the harbor. There's nothing like, if you've never experienced fire watching the fireworks over water, there's nothing as majestic as seeing that, in my opinion. So whenever we can, we try to get 
buy tickets for the cruise to go out on the harbor and watch those fireworks that way. I was really nervous because of the weather, right? And, and I'm thinking, Booth Bay Harbor, they could end up canceling the fireworks. You never know. So um, they ended up, it was like, it was unbelievable. We had that day, no, the day before we had taken a trip and we had gone south and um, we went to another place we used to camp at, Skahadadoc Bay. I know I'm saying that wrong. The superimposed pictures here. Jay took some drone shots. And we just went and visited the campground, talked to them about sites for next year. And, and that's where we kind of scoped out a few other different places. So on 4th of July itself, we had our friends Mike and Judy come up. They had also bought tickets. And Jay had picked up lobsters and steamers. They were the best lobsters and steamers. Jay drove me down to the water, the campground we are at. Our site's not waterfront, but it's a tidal uh, inlet, and there's like a little shared place where people put their kayaks and boats out. So he brought me down there so I could get seawater, filling the cooler up with seawater, so we could cook our steamers and our lobsters in that type of water. Oh my gosh, it makes such a big difference. And then even though Jay added a little bit of beer to the, you know, to the steamer water, it, it was just delicious, delicious lobster steamers. And then the sun started coming out. It was like, wow, we had rain when we were cooking. And I'm thinking, good thing we bought trip cancellation insurance. We had rain. And then, boom, the sun started coming out. So we decided, well, we'd go down the harbor early. We'd walk around, maybe get a dessert or something. And then see what happens well we went out on the boat ride it was really awesome it was super super awesome i highly highly recommend if you ever have an opportunity to do that it's if the tickets are pricey especially if you you end up getting like a um, trip cancellation i think the tickets were like 58 dollars a person but oh, what it was so majestic it, it was so you know I don't know, when the sky cleared and the fireworks started and it was dark and you could see some of the lights on Booth Bay Harbor all around and there were boats all over the place, you know, they were waiting for the fireworks and when it all started, it was breathtaking. It was really, really breathtaking. This is a little bit of the finale. So I know I had um, not the best video there, but I had shot it with my GoPro. I was trying to use my GoPro. I have a GoPro 10, hardly ever use it, and I've been trying to really use it a little bit more. So, but anyways, I had received, this is from Current Skin, and it's a lead hand perfector. And some of you, I'm sure you know this, you've seen this, but this is current body, I should say. You plug it in, and this is LED for your hands. I haven't used it yet. And you know, when you get, sometimes I'll get PR that's sent to me. Um, and sometimes people reach out ahead of time and said, would you be interested in trying it? Sometimes some companies want to put stipulation on you. You know, you've got to do a video by this time, and some people even want to prove their videos ahead of time. And I usually go, no, I don't do that, right? Because if I'm going to talk about a product, I might mention, here's what I'm going to be doing, um, because I think it's important to mention this is what I'm going to be doing. So when I talk about it a little bit, you guys will go, oh, yeah, she did start that. So I had Jay take pictures of my hands. Now, I've always been very conscious about my hands. My mother, one time, God bless her, um, said that. Uh, I'll never forget it. It was devastating. But she said, it's too bad you have such a beautiful ring on such ugly old-looking hands. And it devastated me. I did a video on it quite a while ago. But anyway, so my hands have always been old-looking and not not perfect so they sent this to me said would you be willing to try it and i said oh absolutely but i'm no i have no interest in your face mask because i am using a led a red light therapy face mask many of you know from candy way 
that I have, I'm just absolutely thrilled with. So, for those of you that keep asking, the Candy Way face mask, it is pliable. It is, I can, I can lift mine up if I want to try to get, you know, above my lip a little bit, but the between the nose and the lip, the line is so thin, there's really not a whole lot of space there to have the lights. But I use this consistently, and I use it in the morning. I'm in bed. Sometimes I fall back asleep. I turn it on, and I'm just lying in bed, totally relaxing. Well, the week after I had my breast surgery, I had I'd spoken to my doctor because I have noticed such a big difference since I've been using the red light therapy on my skin. My skin, probably the quickest thing that I noticed was my skin felt uh, plumper. You know, my face skin felt plumper. And I was starting to see where right here on my Mohs surgery, the scar, um, I was starting to see this part of my surgery because it's in my nasal lobia fold or whatever and right around my nostril is puckery and it, it didn't heal smooth. It, it's puckery. Everything else is smooth on my scar. I had quite a big scar uh, and but this is puckery and I noticed that it started to smooth out. So I started to really look into it deeper for scars and stuff like that. And one of the things that I noticed that they said if you have had surgery or something like that, that this is excellent, excellent for healing. In fact, let me see if I can find for wound, I'm going to read this. Wound healing and skin repair. Red light therapy, red light therapy, also known as photobiomodulation, utilizes specific wavelengths of light to penetrate the skin, promoting various benefits to the tissue, regeneration, and overall wellness. So if you have a wound, accelerated wound healing. So when I talked to my surgeon about the red light I was using on my face, at that point in time before my surgery, I was putting it down on my chest. And um, I said to my surgeon, I would like to put this down. How soon can I start that? He said, wait a week, which I did. I took a picture of my scar and I'm gonna keep monitoring it. But I, I'm telling you, I put, after I do my face in the morning, I take it and I put it right down. I make sure that it's over my scar here and I do 10 minutes. And I think my scar on my breast is healing so much quicker than I, I expected. It's still there, it's still ugly, but it looks so much better. And I noticed that the bad scarring around my nose here has gotten so much better. And I, I really, really believe it's the red light therapy. You guys should do your, your own research on it. Now, Candy Way, this company, Yes, this was sent to me. Another company that sent it to me with no obligation. I said, if you like it, you can talk about it. You know, we think you'll like it. Um, but no specific obligation. No, no, you have to do a video in a week. You have to do this. You have to do that. Nothing like that. And, and I really love their story, the brand story. I know I've talked about that before. And I love the personalized customer attention that you get. So anyways, Candy Way, this was originally sent to me. And... Um, I love it. I think it has made an amazing difference on how my, the remainder of my face scar from my Mohs surgery has healed. And also, I believe that it is helping tremendously on the scar I have here. Is it lifting my skin and making it tighter? I don't know. I started up using the face cupping. I talked about that. Well, I stopped. The face cupping is a little awkward. So I went back to my Fabushi. And I've been using that here. And I've only been back on that consistently, you know, for about a week. So I'm going to try because this is my trouble. I just, my droop, you know, I, I mean, I would benefit greatly from plastic surgery. I just can't afford it. So it's not going to happen. It's not going to be in the ballpark for me. But I'm going to try the Fibushi. And, and I know enough to know I have to be consistent to make anything work, you know. And the same thing with eyelash, uh, my eyelash serum. Right? Out of the blue, I get this box in the mail, and it's from Blink. Now, I've talked about Blink, my eyelash serum. I use eyelash serums 
some people, you know, they don't want to use them that much. It's entirely, you know, up to you. Do your own research on that. But I have used Blink on and off probably the last, I don't know, it's been three years. So anyways, I opened up the box and it was Blink. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I'm going to do a little giveaway. I'm so close to 20,000 subscribers. I'm not there yet. My channel is growing so slowly. But I'm going to do a little giveaway. So if you're interested in the Blink, leave me a comment below and just say, I would like to try the Blink. And then I'm going to do a random picker and whoever it is is going to get two tubes of this. Again, this was sent to me without any strings <laughs> from Blink. So that, and they know that I use their product. So I really like that. I also, and I didn't bring it in here because I hadn't planned to talk about it. But sometimes when you get stuff sent to you, and there is no obligation, you know, it's like, wow, I got another thing in the mail and it's the Pericone MD Cold Plasma Plus. I haven't started to use it yet. Advanced Serum Concentrate. I, um, I want to use it. I've heard so, it's very pricey, but I know they always have sales. I've heard so many good things about that product, but I haven't used it yet. So, but that's another thing. It just arrived in the mail and there was absolutely no strings attached. So, so while I was away, I bought this, this hat before I went away because I'm, I'm always looking for sun protection and I realized that this, this was an 80 SPF. So I thought, okay, I'm going to give it a try. It came in a tiny, tiny little box folded like this. So I thought maybe that'd be good for camping. Well, I bought it and, uh, it's okay. It doesn't look the best on me. You know, it doesn't really look the best on me, but it's it's okay. I'm going to continue to use it, but I don't like how the brim fits. I don't like it's it's lumpy looking, and I think it's probably really because you fold it up and you put it into this little tiny package box, and that's how I received it. So I had a we had a great time overall away. It was really an awesome time and then coming back and finding some goodies in the mail is always really good. I'm so looking forward to trying the hand therapy and I'm so excited about how my scar is healing. I'm going to enclose in this video my one year update for my Mohs surgery. So if anyone gets grossed out about scars, you might want to shut it off soon. But I'm going to do, I'm going to add that one year update because the products that I have been using, Scaraway, Biocorium, I have been using the, the mask, which I think is the Candy Way mask, Milk of Magnesia, the products that I've been using have made such a huge difference, I think, on the healing of my scar. And I was devastated when half my face was so gross. You know, yes, I'm vain. I was devastated looking at myself in the mirror, just like I almost fainted when my Band-Aid came off. They said, leave your Band-Aid on. I was taking a shower and all that, and it wouldn't come off. I didn't want to pull it. But when it finally came off, it was in the shower. I almost passed out because I was not expecting that huge scar across the top of my breast. So that was like such a shocker. But anyways, I'm going to close that video here, and I'm going to probably do a little bit more of a deeper dive into my scar care in my next video. But I just wanted to share part two of the vlog give you a little bit of update on how I'm really liking my candy way. Highly recommend, if you guys can afford it, there's always sales. If you guys save your money, if you are, if you are the type of person that's consistent, consistent, because if you're, if you're gonna spend the money and you're gonna do it once a month, it isn't gonna help you. So if you're consistent and you can save your money and buy something like this, it's probably gonna be well worth it for you. I, I noticed in a very short period of time, a difference in my skin a real short period of time. Now, granted, I've been doing skincare and maybe that's why, but if I notice a difference in my hands from the current body, you know, mask for my hands, I will be super, super thrilled. So I'm gonna end the video here because it's like gonna be 30 minutes before I know it. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys, happy Sunday. I can't believe it's been over a year already. So the end of June last year, 2022, I had Mo's surgery for a 
basal cell cancer spot. And as you can see from the scarring, it was pretty intense. And as I was going through the process, the healing process, I didn't think my face would ever, ever get back to normal. A lot of these photos are of me with no makeup except just some mascara so that you can actually see what the scar looks like. I took Arnica and I took scar, put scar away and Biocorium on my face every single day. And slowly but surely, it started to dissipate. You can see how rough around my nasal lobia fold it is. That was the roughest part of the scar afterwards and the, and the longest part to heal. In most of my photos, you can see that puck ring right there. And that is really what has gone away almost completely now. There's hardly any puckering there if you take a look at it. This is an absolutely no makeup, nothing on my face. You can see all my redness and all that, but the puckering is like almost gone. And you can it's see amazing. with my makeup on and smiling and all of that, my hair fixed, I, I look almost like you really can't even see the scar a year later. So as I said, I've been using my Candy Way Red Light Therapy. That's made a huge difference. 